What is up everyone, I'm Pinecone Enthusiast and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. Now today we're going to be looking at some super cheap, absolute budget guns and some cheap, decent ammo that will help you fight those chads. Now the reason that I'm making this video is because the game went on sale a couple weeks ago now and I've been seeing a lot of new players, a lot of low level players running around in Tarkov and not knowing what's going on. And I was like that. And... The reason I want to help you guys out is because we are late into a wipe cycle and this is probably the worst time for any new player to start the game. And that's what happened to me last wipe. I was there. All these new players are coming in with the worst gear and we're so late into a wipe that a lot of the players are veterans. They all have really good gear. They all have stuff like me, like class 5 armor. They have, you know, all the best ammo that you could run. And new players are going to be at an extreme disadvantage. And this can be devastating for new players. It can be extremely frustrating and make you regret ever buying Tarkov in the first place. So I'm going to be making a quick video here. I'm not going to be going into extreme depth on anything. It's just going to be a, hey, do this, don't do this early. And, you know, it'll give you a much better chance to fight people. Now, when you first load into Tarkov, um, this is the mistake that I made and I think a lot of people make is you load in, you see some guns, you see AKs. This is a Russian-based game. They're going to be pushing AKs. And me being a gamer and um, you know playing games for a very long time and first-person shooters, in my head, I know AKs are cheap, they're reliable, and they're available. That's how it is in Tarkov. But late wipe, AKs are completely useless. They are completely useless unless you spend a shit ton of money on them and unless you spend a shit ton of money on the best ammo. The thing is, AKs have terrible vertical recoil, and they have terrible cheap ammo. That's one thing that you, you will just never be able to kill a Chad with them unless you shoot them in the face. That's just how it is. And if you're a new player first coming in, you're shooting center mass. That's just how it is. You're shooting center mass. You're not shooting faces. You're just trying to, you see a player, you shoot at them. You're not good enough to be taking headshots or anything. None of us are fucking shroud or anything when we first start playing this game. Unless you actually are shroud, then fucking do whatever you want. But this is for new players who are coming in, learning the game, shooting center mass. And... They're going up to chads and stuff, and you're just not killing people. It's just like I shot this dude 10 times, and then he turns around and looks at me, and then I'm just wiped off the face of the planet in seconds, and that's how it is, and that's because of ammo. Now, starting off here, the OPSKS is probably my favorite budget gun build in the game, and you're going to want to be running BP rounds in this. This is the best round for any 7.62 uh, by 39 gun. It is expensive, 900 per round and eight. Or, well, you're not going to be worrying about traders, but um, 900 per round. This is expensive. It really is. But the thing with the OPS gas is it's a single tap rifle, and the BP ammo does so much damage that you don't need to bring a lot of ammo, and it's 100% worth it. You just bring a 35 round mag of BP, and that's pretty much all you need. And I'll get into that in a second. Now, the reason that BP is so good is because it has 58 flush damage and 47 pen, which is fantastic. You will pen class 4 armor. We're not going to go into extreme detail on that or anything. But uh, run BP ammo. It will help you a lot. And coming into the build, the OP SKS comes with a wooden stock. Now, you can run this if you would like to keep it cheaper. But you can see that if you run... The U.S. stock, you drop it down to 98 recoil, which is like a 50 recoil reduction. 100% worth it in my opinion. And then just slap whatever pistol grip you want in here or that you have. It's just ergo based. It's not really worth anything just to get the gun to work. I always put a times 400 on the bottom of my gun here or on the sides if you would like. If the flashlight is on or if the laser is on, it will help your hip firing. It makes your gun more accurate in the game and also helps you see and pinpoint hip firing shots. Now the thing with this OPSKS is that you can mount a scope on the front of it and I would stick with your hollows. The reason so or the reason for this is because your player's eye is going to be back here and this is a pretty far distance. It's a little bit awkward and it's a lot more different than a lot of guns in the game. And this distance down here, if you're running a small scope, like say the Tricon or something, that dot, in the, that dot in the center gets super small and it's really awkward to look through. So you want the um, horizontal distance and larger um, reticle of the uh, holographic sights, in my opinion. Now, the OPS gas, like I said, is one of my favorite guns for early game. It's going to treat you right. It's going to treat you well. It has almost no recoil. BP will two-tap any chest in the game. Um, other than slicks and most of the time you'll beat class 5 armor in two or three shots. It's it's a fantastic gun um, I run 35 round mags in it and then maybe I'll bring another 20 round mag 
It's super cheap. You can get them all at the flea market. I'm not going to go over pricing, but I checked everything here for flea market prices and nothing here is over 100K whatsoever. These guns you can run incredibly cheap. Next up is the VPO 366 Mullet and the 366 AKM Vepper. These guns, two months ago, were completely useless. They had no role in the game whatsoever. Even if you loaded in as a scav, you knew you would never kill a single player or anyone with them. They were so awful. But now, because of the introduction of the 366 AP round, they are very, very good budget guns that can one-tap someone in the chest with class 4 armor. And that's because the 366 AP does 90 chest dam or does 90 flash damage and has 42 pen. That 42 pen is enough to get through class four armor. It's enough to do some good damage to class five, and uh, that 90 damage is enough to one tap a chest of a 85 thorax. And this is one of the only guns in the game, or one of the only rounds in the game that can still do this. That is not a shotgun shell or the 7 and 31 of the 762 by five fours. This is a fantastic gun. The mallet. You don't have to do anything to it. It costs 15k off market or from Jaeger. You slap a four round mag into it. And I would buy a few of these, probably four or five of them. And that's it. They cost 1500 a piece. The 366 AP is actually pretty cheap. 600 a round off market. Super cheap. You only need to bring in like 15 shells. And if you if you do yourself right and you take your time, you could kill five PMCs with those 15 shots. And the next up is going to be the AKM variant of this. This is your 366 TKM carbine. Now this gun is semi-automatic and it is terrible. It is inaccurate. It has a ton of recoil and has horrible ergonomics, but it fires a super powerful round and you can just devastate people with it. And it's cheap as all hell people. Now, the only thing that I would do to the AKM uh, 366 variant is you go to the edit preset and it will come with this dust cover and it will come with a uh, iron sight. I would just want to put a scope on this. Now you can use this mount here, but the TT 10,000 is super expensive. Do not do it. It's, it's incredibly expensive. So what you're going to want to do is you just remove your rear sight. You just say none on the VPL rear sight. And then you're going to go and you're going to want to replace the dust cover with a bastion and that's it. And then you can just put whatever scope you want on here. I like my vortex run whatever you guys want, whatever's cheapest, whatever you guys have, whatever you pull off someone. It's just to get a scope on there. And then 30 round mags, these things are dirt cheap, and that's it. You can mod this gun as much as you want. It will always be a piece of shit. <laughs> like that's just how it is. It will no matter how much you work you put in this gun, it will be a piece of shit. So it's not worth spending the money. It's worth spending the money to get this semi-automatic gun that fires one of the best rounds in the game. You could literally walk up to a Giga Chad who's wearing class 4 armor, shoot them once in the chest with this. It doesn't even have to be a headshot, and they will die. And that's the glory of the 366 Vepper. Now, moving on to the last gun here is going to be the Vepper Hunter. Now, this is a 762 by 51 I'm sure a lot of people know about the Hunter. It is a fantastic gun, and the reason is because it fires a 762 by 51 one of the most powerful rounds in the game. And the budget version of this is the M80. Now, M80s are a little bit inflated in price right now. You can see they're starting to go down again, but I would not spend any more than 400 to 600 on an M80 round. Again, kind of expensive, but you don't need that many rounds. That is the whole point of these guns is that you need one or two rounds to drop someone. And that is, you don't have to bring a lot of ammo in. Now, M80s, they do 80 flush damage and they have 40 pen, which breaks the 40 pen threshold again, just like all these other rounds. And they're going to do you great. And the only thing that I do to a Vepra Hunter is that I take the five round mag and I put a 10 round mag in. That's it. The 10 round mags are 10K a piece, 12K a piece. Um, they fluctuate a little bit, but in my opinion, having those five extra rounds in the mag are worth it. Take two or three 10 round mags with you with full of M80s. You hit about 100K, you go into a game. And the that's about it. I use the OKP7 dovetail sight on the side. It does come with a mount already. You can put a B13 rail system on it, or you can put an SVD rail system on it, but I would just go with the Cobra, or I would go with the OKP, or yeah, the OKP7, sorry. And uh, yeah, that's it. And that's all it is to these guns. They're fantastic. They will tap chests and, you know, you'll get away with some fantastic kills on Giga Chads. And then the thing is, once you kill one person, kill two people, you dump these guns, you throw them in a bush, you forget about them, you unload your ammo, and then you pick up the people's gear that you killed, 
and then you get your stuff back in insurance. That's kind of how you play the beginning of the game. And it works out great. These these rounds and these guns will treat you right. Alrighty, everyone, that is going to be just about it for today's video. A little change in scenery here. This is uh, I'm actually recording this recently, this outro. Um, I recorded the stuff for this video about a month ago now. College is in full swing and kicking my ass. And uh, I've had absolutely no time to get to any of my recordings or anything. So I do apologize for that, guys. Um, but the semester is coming to an end and I will be able to get some more videos out and some more consistency under my belt and, uh, you know, get you guys some videos for these, uh, cold winter months coming up here. And so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah, I just want to give everyone another thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, 315, 320 subscribers now, somewhere around there and 30,000, 40,000 views on the channel. I mean, Come on, guys. That's just crazy. I mean, thank you guys so much. It has been fantastic. The support has been amazing. And uh, the positivity in the comment section and uh, the likes on the videos, it just it means the world to me, guys. And uh, it's just it's fucking awesome. So thank you, guys. And um, yeah, guys, that's going to be just about it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Peace.